All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Orphans. Now. Now, in the last video, we've kind of definitely 100% for sure now know that <laughs> Mika is possessed by Belial. And um, she's going in and out between Mika and Belial. It's not good. It's not looking good for her. We got we to gotta do everything we can to keep her in that cabin. We don't want... Um, Mika to get outside the cabin and to find her way to Annie. That won't be good. Annie did block us, though, which isn't good. And now we have no way of getting in touch with Annie, which isn't good at all. Amber and Carla are still looking for the fonts. I have a feeling we're going to be tasked with a decision to make that could potentially be a life-deciding choice between one of those two in the last video we we talked to carla and amber and they were kind of playing with the idea of whether they should stay together or split up and i think once we make that decision it's could potentially be life or death <laughs> jason who we have reaching out to us right now is still we're still not sure if he's if he's good or bad i'm i'm gonna try to stay optimistic with jason and say that he's still on our side he's just playing bad to play the part that way he can get close to ina to help save ina that is my stance on it i and i hope i'm right <laughs> hopefully hopefully it doesn't cost uh ina her her life now what i failed to do in the last video was cover the notes as well as the audio files so before we get to talk into Jason, we're going to cover the audio files. We have a recording. We have a radio recording right here, the, the, the radio recording one. And we also have Emilio number one. And then we also have some notes here. We have the Big Brother is watching you, Breach of Trust, and Judas. So let's go ahead and listen to these audio files first. And this is the radio recording number one. So we know the 
the Brotherhood of Light there is the one that took out uh, Enrico S.'s family and him. And then, and I'm guessing it's Amelia, is the, the, the daughter that they were referring to. I think I maybe I'm wrong, but I think they're referring to Amelia. I mean, that, that makes more that just makes the most sense. That's wild. That's wild. Pretty crazy. I mean, the, we already know that the Brotherhood of Light is is a very strong and powerful cult and organization, and they they have their ways. They have their ways to to make things seem like they were something, but they they really they really did something really terrible. They were the ones eliminating people and making it seem like they were eliminating themselves. Let's go ahead and check out the Amelia number one MP3. In the course of my research, I came across other records that described the events at the orphanage from the point of view from one of the children. At first, I was not sure. But now I understand these are the diary entries of young Amelia. In her childlike and sometimes native manner, she described her experiences, and I must admit, dear reader, when I was reading these lines, I could hardly hold back my tears. The section of her notes describes the fears and worries after Father John was put in charge of the orphanage. Dear Diary, I know I shouldn't speak ill of others, but I think Father John is really mean. Since he's been here, it's no fun at all. We have to work all day and get punished when we do something wrong. The other day, he hit my best friend so hard that her lip was bleeding, just because she dropped the plate while doing the dishes. As a punishment, she had to clean the bathrooms all by herself, and no one helped. Even the sisters seemed to be afraid of him. Everyone does what he says, no matter how mean and nasty he is. The chapel is now locked most of the time. Only sometimes Sister Brown comes to get us for the service, and we pray together. But I think she does that secretly when Father John isn't there. She's always nice to us and has never hit us. She tries not to show it, but I don't think she likes Father John either. The other day in the yard, I found a pigeon. It was injured and couldn't fly anymore, so I took it inside and was going to ask one of the sisters for advice. But when Father John saw it, he took it away from me and broke its neck. He said there's no place in the world for this useless and weak. But didn't the Bible teach us that we are all creatures of God? That we are all equal before the Lord? Aren't we supposed to help the weak and the poor and forgive sinners? I wish Father John would leave. Life here at the orphanage was much better before he arrived. I mean, we already knew Father John was an evil person, so it doesn't surprise me much. But I guess at this point, it's just kind of adding fuel to the fire, adding more evidence to the fact that that, Pat, that Father John is just a terrible, terrible person. Let's go ahead and check out these notes. We have uh, Big Brother is watching you. Damn it, Amber, Amber and Carla are in great danger. The Brotherhood knows they're on their way to, the, to Henry. It's a trap. I have to warn them. And that was all part of last video. Breach of trust. There's nothing more I can do for her. They made Annie believe that I'm in cahoots with these maniacs. She really thinks that I've helped to implement the plans of the Brotherhood from the very beginning. To be honest, I can't blame her. In hindsight, it really looks like I'm a traitor. She will never be able to trust me again. And as of right now, we're blocked. Annie has 100% blocked us, and we can't get in touch with her. We can't talk to her. We can't, you know, defend ourselves. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not good. Hopefully, Annie will be able to take care of herself because she doesn't have us protecting her anymore we have judas here was i wrong about jason has he been betraying us is he really in cahoots with the brotherhood damn it i don't know who to trust everything is terrible i could do nothing while that monster possessed mika and killed sandy annie doesn't trust me those bastards man manipulated her now i look like i've been a traitor all along i feel so lost I still think Jason is is on our side, and we're getting ready to talk to Jason right now. So, I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? One way to find out if Jason's still on our side or not. Let's go ahead and talk with Jason. Jason says, tongue-tied. Jason, damn it. Please tell me that Ina is with you. 
Why the hell are you pointing a gun at Samuel? Please explain. Look, I just look. Please explain what's going on, Jason. I'm sorry. I had no choice. When I couldn't reach Stefan, I saw no other option. I went home, got my gun, and then went back to free them. But I was too late. They were already on their way to the cell to get Ina. There were three of them. I couldn't possibly have overpowered them. I mean, but you had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty powerful, Jason. I had to improvise and offered my help. Now, granted, if he did eliminate those three with the gun, I'm obviously that's gonna set off tons of alarms. You know, you 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 give away your element of surprise, and so I, I get it. I get it. I knew you were all right, Jason. But but it seems like Jason is still on our side. But he had to improvise and offered my friend help. Thanks. I had no choice. I could hardly bring myself to point that gun at Samuel. I had to make sure that we won't get busted. I just hope I still get the chance to apologize to him. Unfortunately, I had to leave him behind. Ina was supposed to get ready for the sacrifice. We took her to a an adjoining room for the ceremony hall. One of the men went to get the sacrificial garment. Now there was only two of them. I had to take the opportunity and started to fight. In the scuffle, I shot my gun uh, in, a, in, a, in the scuffle, a shot from my gun went off and hit one of the men in the neck. Ooh, damn, that, ooh, probably, I don't think that would feel very good at all. The other knocked a gun from my hand. I had to beat him to death with a candlestick. <laughs> damn, Jason. In there, whooping ass. Just, just, so he says that the gun went off. A shot from my gun went off. It, which is an interesting way of putting it. I mean, he literally... He made it seem like it was an accident, but it wasn't. He... He he, he, he put that into the neck of the other guy. <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't know what happened. It just... A shot went off. I have no idea how it happened. <laughs> but he clearly had, the, had, the, had it out and pointed. Because otherwise, how did he get knocked out from his hand? From the other guy. Either way, both of them seem like they got eliminated. One with the gun, one with the candlestick. <laughs> Are you hurt? What about Ina? Is she? What, what about Ina? Is she safe? I'm sure she is, right? She's scared and in shock. The gunshot was pretty hot. The gunshot was pretty hot. <laughs> what do you? What do you mean by pretty hot? <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was a huge turn on. <laughs> Ina, Ina and I got out of there as fast as we could. We're in a small shed, uh, shed near the hotel. We can't stay here long, though. They'll be looking for us. Two dead brothers, my gun at the scene. You didn't pick the gun up? It got the two dead brothers. You didn't happen to pick it back up and keep it with... Oh, Jason, rookie move. <laughs> it happened so quickly. How could I be so stupid and leave it behind? Now they'll be chasing me too, tongue-tied. What about Samuel? You've risked your own life for them. You must be. Uh, you must get to say. What about? Oh, we got it. We got to help save Samuel, right? Like, they're gonna go straight to Samuel. What about Samuel? He's like he's on his own. I don't. I don't know what to do. He's he's gonna have to figure it out. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the moment, I don't see any way to help him. I have to warn Stefan. If they can't find me, they will turn against him. Where the hell is he? Amber's online. Get me. Fucking, why, why is there still movement in the orphanage? <laughs> There's nobody in there. There shouldn't be moving around. Get back to you later, tongue tied. I have to make sure my son is safe. Yeah, I, I get it, Jason. I get it. And who was that girl in the orphanage? Shit. 
<laughs> Amber and Carla, we just arrived at the marina. It looks abandoned. Oh, but looks can be deceiving. It might look... There's plenty of boats out there. The fonts has got to be on one of them. It's dark, too. Not a soul in sight, just a lot of boats. Now we have to decide. What should we do? Should we stay together or split up? Do you really think it's better if we stay together? Tongue -tongue? Man, this is it. I was... <sighs> Wolf says, damn, I wouldn't have a clue what's right or wrong. Sorry, I can't make this decision for you. I really don't know what to do. If they split up, they'll cover more ground, potentially finding the fonts faster. If they split up, though, and it's a trap, they can't defend each other. They can't... There, there, there'll be one less person there to fight back. They'll be, they'll be outmatched. They'll be outpowered. But if they stay together, they have a chance of fighting back and, and, and defending each other. But if they stay together and the Fonts isn't at the marina and he's at the docks or the port, maybe the Fonts lose. What if this is like one of those, like, if they stay together, Fonts is eliminated. If they split up, Carla or Amber gets eliminated, but the Fonts lives. Like, how am I supposed to make that decision? And Wolf's no help. Wolf's not helping. He, he doesn't know what's right or wrong. I, I don't know what's right or wrong. Do you really think it's better that we stay together? It's definitely safer. I've changed my mind. Better split up. <laughs> I think it's definitely safer. I don't want them to split up. I think they need to stay together. Amber says, okay. I hope I won't regret it later. I, I, I hope not. I hope not too, Amber. So, we'll look around here first, and if we don't find my dad, we'll make our way to the container port. I'll turn my phone off again and get back to you if there's news. Keep your fingers crossed for us tongue-tied. Samuel's online. Jason is on our side. Ina and him were able to escape. But I don't get it. it right. So he kind of like what I mentioned before, Samuel, he 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 was pretending to be bad to get to to get to Ina, to save Ina. Look, he he eliminated two brothers. He he eliminated two brothers, Samuel. One with a fucking candlestick. A jam, a jam candlestick. Was it all staged to free Ina? That's what it seems like. Then you were actually right. Of course I was right. I'm a jam genius, Samuel. I was convinced that he betrayed us. Where are they? They're hiding in a shed near the hotel. They're safe for now. They're still in the village making sure uh, they, they won't get discovered. Now... I'm going to tell Samuel that they're safe for now. The reason for that is, is I don't know if our phone is still being watched or if maybe Samuel's phone is being watched. Like maybe our phone is safe, but Samuel's phone might be, be being watched. And if we tell Samuel that they're in a shed near the hotel, maybe whoever the hacker is on the other side, be like, look, we got them. We know where they're at. So I'm just going to tell Samuel that they're safe for now. Uh, but I'm not going to tell him exactly where it is just in case they're watching or in case they take Samuel's phone. I'm so happy Ina is safe. They will probably want to kill me now. I don't care. The main thing is that Ina is safe. We're going to try to make sure that it doesn't happen, Samuel. We're going to try to save you too. Don't know how, but we're going to shot. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to try. We'll get you out of there. Don't even think like that, Samuel. Ina would never leave without. Look, we're going to get you out of there, Samuel. Trust me. I am I am a master at saving people and not sacrificing them to the evils and not sacrificing them to save others. I I am a master at rescuing those who are in need of rescuing, saving those who are in need of saving. 
I am not in the business of sacrificing anybody. Ever. And for those who say that I do sacrifice people in, in, in the comments, you're lying. You're all... <laughs> you're jam liars. <laughs> Samuel says, let's face it, tongue tied. Nobody will turn up. I'm lost. They're about to start the ritual and they just lost their sacrifice. It doesn't take a genius to guess what's coming next. They'll get rid of me and follow their master. I don't want to die yet. Thought I had a few good years left together with Ina. Look, we're going to get you out of there, Samuel. Don't you worry. I wish, but I wish I could help you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you might be right, Samuel, but I, I wish I could help. But look, no matter what, Ina is safe because of you. You will look. You're you're gonna live, Samuel. You just gotta you just gotta keep keep the chin up, keep your spirits high. I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but there's no hope. I don't see a way out. I'm sorry, but yeah, but you didn't see a way of of Ina being saved either, and we did that. Take Ina to safety and tell her I love her. We have a problem. Carla and Amber have to turn off their phones. Yeah, I mean, we kind of knew that. I mean, we knew that Carla and Amber had to turn off their phones. But Carla's reaching out. Are you there, tongue tied? Carla, turn off your phone. Carla's offline. <laughs> that was easy. It's not looking good. I'll add you. What? Oh, the, they know, they know where they're at. He's going to add me to the, uh, to the spy chat, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. Mr. Black, what's, what's going on, Mr. Black? I was able to locate a signal at the marina. Oh, they know they're at the marina. That's not good. Are you completely incapable? Why the hell are they at the marina? Then they don't know we're holding fonts at the container ports. Red, yellow. Do you have do you have backup near the marina? Yes, I have five people. There's just ten minutes. They're just ten minutes away. I I I they're dead. They're done. They're both gone. They're they're, they're both done. You know what to do. Make it look like a freaking accident for F sake. <laughs> and white. Watch the signal. No more mistakes. This isn't good. Who's that? Is that is that white? Or I'll tell my people to do their job. What are you doing? Leave my family out of this. They have nothing to do with it. Oh, is that is that white's uh maybe that's white's son or brother or I don't know. It's up to you. Son of a bitch. Watch your mouth. I'm dead serious. Yo, Mr. Black sounds like a punk. <laughs> he does. He sounds like a punk bitch. Um, Amber. Wolf was able to intercept the call. They're holding your father at the container port. You have to get out of there. They've tracked you. People from the Brotherhood are on their way to you. And he's online. But I thought she had us blocked. Is she going to reach out to us? <gasps> Tunked. She did. She unblocked us. Annie. She, you, better, you better say you're sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Just, just, you have to trust me. That's, that's what you need to think. You need to think that I'm telling you the truth. You need to think that I'm on your side. Because I am. Annie, you have to believe me. This screenshot, that was a fake. You don't seriously think I'm in cahoots with these lunatics. Look, you have to believe me, Annie. 100% the screenshots were fake. I want to. But... Wolf texted me earlier. Sent me chat histories. Reassured me. You're alright and I can trust you. Told me. You got hacked, and they're trying to manipulate your files. Thank you, Wolf, so much. Annie, back on the track of being future ex-wife. <laughs> All thanks to Wolf, of course. <laughs> now I'm totally lost. 
are you really who you say you are? I'm losing my mind. Look, I, I 100%. I ain't never lied about myself in my entire life. I am. <laughs> I am exactly who I say I am. Tongue tied. <laughs> I swear you could trust me. I understand you're skeptical. I'm pretty hurt. You think I'm capable of that? Look, Annie. I swear you can you can trust me, Annie. Our our friendship is improving. It's still at a, it's still at a, it's still at a twelve, but it's improving. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry. It really looks like you were hacked. Oh, it really looked like I was just like a bad person. I guess it looked like I was in cahoots with them. I don't have many options left anyway. You're the only one I've got left. What am I supposed to do? After Mika killed Sandy? Yeah, that was... That was tough. That was that was really rough. I can't believe it, Tongue Tied. This monster took possession of my sister. Made her a killer. If I hadn't run away, Mika probably would have killed me too. It makes me sick when I think about it. I'm afraid I've told her where you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy. I didn't mean it. It was an accident. I didn't. I, it's not because I was in cahoots with the, the, the brother. <laughs> oh, man. That makes me sound like I'm in cahoots with the. It makes me sound like I'm a traitor. I'm a damn traitor. I told Mika where Annie was. Maybe it's time for you to get out of there, Annie. <laughs> I thought you were possessed. That's why I told Mika where you went. Man, I don't, I didn't mean it, Annie. I, I'm sorry. You can please forgive me. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually in cahoots with the Brotherhood. I didn't tell you that yet. I'm so sorry. She seemed perfectly normal and I was worried. Believe me, I regretted it right away. But she was so, I don't know. I wanted to help her, didn't know she was possessed. Look, I'm sorry, she seemed normal. And I did want to try to help her. I, I didn't know what was going on. I was, I panicked. I, <laughs> Damn it, she'll come look for me. What the hell am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Go somewhere else. I don't know. Go to the orphanage. Maybe there's some good ghosts that are willing to help you, but probably not. Based on the videos I've seen, they're all still pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> Get the hell out of there before Mika finds you. I'm afraid that's the only reasonable, safe place right now. Uh, the gun must still be there somewhere. Look, just get the hell out of there. Don't, I don't know if, maybe you should grab the gun, but I can't ask her to do that. Run into the forest? I could run right into her. Besides, Tammy and Leon are out there somewhere too. But I also can't just sit here and wait for the end. I should secure the windows and doors. Although I doubt that will stop her. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find a hammer or some nails or the shotgun. I'll be in touch again soon, tongue tied. You know, <laughs> you made my life hell. That's what she's going to say. Or maybe she won't say anything at all. You know, uh, there she is. I regret having suspect. Okay, I thought she was getting ready to say I regret having ever talked to you. That's what, <laughs> in my mind, that's what she was gonna say. But she she regrets ever having suspected me, and I, and that's good. And that's good. I would have reacted the same way. Please look after yourself. We will stop her, Annie. Um. I, if I say I would have reacted the same way, I think that's going to improve our relationship, and I kind of need all the improvement in our relationship as possible, as much as possible. So I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I need I need help with our relationship with Annie. <laughs> White Rabbit, you don't know me, but I can help you fight this organization. Oh. So, White Rabbits, you've come for my assistance. <laughs> you're finally up. You finally have had enough of them threatening your life and your family, right, White Rabbit? I get it. I know. 
I know that's what that's what's going on in your head. And now you need my help to fight against this this organization, this brotherhood, this 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 terrible cult. But how? How can I trust you, White Rabbit? What's your real name, White Rabbit? Is this you right here? I can't open up the profile picture. But that that's White Rabbit. It's got a, got an eye patch. I know you well enough to know that I don't need your help. Go to hell. You help put us in this position. Organization. You are a part of this gang of looted. Look, go to hell, White Rabbit. I, I, I got nothing for you. Although, I'm, I'm only saying that because I'm upset. Let's get some things straight. First of all, I am not one of them. My dealings with the Brotherhood are purely professional. I was offered a high paying job. We're taking, or we're talking retired, no work for the rest of my life. At some point, however, I realized that I'd gotten myself into something so horrible I could no longer justify the money over conscience. But you know what though? Like, you still you're still doing it. And the thing is, is that you can't get out of it because they have your family. They're holding your family against you. They, like they're threatening you and threatening your family. So now you're you're never you can't you're you're never gonna retire. You're never gonna you're, you're never getting out. Even if I believed you, how are you going to help us? Yes, they're more than just willing to step over fallen bodies to achieve their goals. I don't believe a word you're saying. I, you know, even if I believed you, White Rabbit, how are you going to help us? They still trust me. Barely. Let's get that straight. Barely. Mr. Black, he's got his suspicions about you, White Rabbit. I can spy on them and provide you with inside information. These pigs are threatening me and my family. If I help you hunt them down, I'm also protecting myself. I'll prove to you that I'm serious. Give me a few minutes. I'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Wolf's is, what's that all about? Yeah, it's the other hacker, Wolf. Let me tell you. White Rabbit wants our help. And we have a premium chat option. The first of episode five. You... Uh, you really follow every single chat, right? <laughs> You're really looking over our shoulder every every step of the way, aren't you, Wolf? Sorry, occupational hazard. I'm always curious. Can't help it. Oh, he's got everybody's chats up. He's got White Rabbit. He's got himself. Is that... Wait, is that Wolf talking to Wolf? Is... <laughs> Oh no, that that's Wolf talking to me, but his profile picture is in the top right as if he's so he's watching my chat. I get it. That's him watching my chat talk to him. Genius. Damn damn genius. <laughs> You're not really buying this, are you? You realize this is just another trap. He's trying to gain your trust with this touching story. That's that's what I think, but if we have insight on what's going on with the, the crew at the marina, we could potentially help Carla and Amber get away safely. If we know what's going on. If if White Rabbit can, can kind of give us that information. And it is true. We do know Mr. Black is holding White Rabbit's family hostage and forcing him to work for them. So if we could get the organization shut down if we can destroy this organization then i think that's more than enough uh of a of a um bargaining chip for white rabbit it's more more than enough of a reason for white rabbit to help us if he can get away from that organization and and you know make sure that he himself or her himself or whoever whoever white rabbit is and and their family can then live in peace and not in fear Who knows, Carla used to be one of them too and finally broke away. You're probably right. I'm not sure. That's that's true. Carla, I mean, it, it, it is possible. Carla was one of them. But Carla was actually a cult member. White Rabbit is strictly professional. Like, they're all, this this was a job. This wasn't him being a follower. This is this is him being working as a job. Don't be so naive, tongue-tied. But maybe we can use that to our advantage. If you play along with his game, 
if this guy thinks his plan is going to work, we might get some information that could help us. Right, it could also help save Amber and Carla, hopefully. That could work. I don't know, it's pretty risky, isn't it? I should definitely wait and see what he's up to. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that could definitely work. We could we could potentially use him, play play along with White Rabbit, but then use him for his information. It's kind of like a win win as long as as long as we're not giving White Rabbit any information. That's that's what I'm worried. I just don't want to give White Rabbit any information about us. Mika, it looked like Mika was online, uh, but w Wolf says, but you have to be damn careful, tongue tied. This guy is not stupid. He will try to get as much information out of you as he can. And I'm not going to give him any information. My, my lips are sealed. He will use everything he finds out against us. Whatever you do, don't let this guy trick you into giving away any information. I'll see what else I can find out about him. You do that, Wolf. I'm going to talk to Mika. I don't know if this is Mika or Belial. What am I going to do, Tongue Tied? I'm so terribly scared. Okay, so so right right now it's Mika, but it's probably going to... I mean, instantly, with, within a second, probably will change to Belial soon. I'm losing control. It's like it's tearing me apart from the inside. Where are you, Mika? You have to stay away from the others. It is the... Mo Look, where are you, Mika? I, I need to know where you're at. I don't really know. Somewhere in the forest. So Mika is just like out there looking for Annie. Probably on her way to Annie. It's not good. No idea how I... End oh, Amber was online and then offline? That's... I don't know if that's good. No idea how I ended up here. The last thing I remember is Sandy. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm freezing. I don't want to die tongue-tied. The Leo's taken over. It's way too early for that. First, we'll look for Annie. Mika is going to wish I killed her yet. Oh, now we got to reach 55% to continue. Now, we saw Amber go online and then offline. I don't know what to expect for that. I I, I don't know. Uh, but, but Mika is... It's not good. It's not good. And, and even though Annie... Even though Annie is, 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 is unblocked me... Annie is back to being kind of friendly, but not really. I mean, our relationship is still at a staggering 13. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did I did confess to Annie that we told Mika where she was at, which isn't good. Because now Belial knows where Annie is at, and they're probably on their way straight to Annie. And look, my bad. My bad. Like, I didn't mean it. It was an accident. <laughs> but that's where we're at in the story right now. We have to reach 55% to continue episode 5. What do you guys think of Orphans so far? What do you think of episode 5 as of right now? I think it's pretty intense. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I know that that first, you know, some would call it jump scares. That first part in the very beginning where the little girl dropped her little toy and then that face popped out on the screen. I, I'm sure that got you guys. Didn't get me. I'm sure it got every single one of you. But it didn't get me. I don't get scared. The bravest YouTuber out there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed Orphans Episode 5. If you are, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>